What up, guys? CP the Tool Addict. Woo! Somebody has suggested that I do a Harbor Freight video on coupons like 9,000 other channels do. And I thought, that's actually kind of a great idea. I mean, why shouldn't we just uh, talk about all the things you shouldn't buy instead of being a channel that just says all the things you should buy from Harbor Freight? Now, I'm sure there's going to be a ton of of angry people when I get done with this but at the end of the day I think this is the most honest way to do it because Harbor Freight doesn't pay me a dime nor do I want anything from them we're gonna try to stay away from things that are not too automotive related um, I will say that I don't feel the need to spend the money right off the bat on things like this now flooring air nailer stapler i could see where that could come in handy um i don't know once again i'm i'm a i'm an automotive mechanic so i'm not going to say it, this would be something in my honest opinion that if i was going to put in flooring in my house and i was doing it but it's not a professional tool they're comparing it to a boss stitch for the extra 249 dollars if i was a professional i'm definitely going to go buy the boss stitch there's not a big enough difference there for me to matter. $109, and I'm doing it professionally. That's the difference between a professional using Harbor Freight and somebody who's just doing a DIY. Uh, but I would definitely look for better options out there. I don't know what else there is. I don't like the fact that Harbor Freight is basically getting reverse-engineered tools, which are knockoffs of other brands that actually probably have dealt with things like warranty issues, breaking where harbor freight's getting these from companies that basically have not had those types of deals not only that we've all known from the previous video that war that harbor freight is not good with customer service and when it comes to something breaking if they can't just replace the whole thing uh you're kind of sol they do not sell a lot of parts it's very hard for them to get them to you i've already dealt with this my buddy had an icon toolbox he tried to get some replacement slides for his. It took forever. It was an absolute nightmare, which it happens with the tool trucks too. I will say that. Uh, guys that I've heard say have Cornwall boxes and then lose dealers, blah, blah, blah. But I do know if you contact a company in Mac and Snap-on's case, I didn't have a Snap Mac dealer, and I got a complete toolbox replaced, which I have yet to see anybody get that done with Harbor Freight. And that's only with their Icon warranty. Uh, supposedly so these are just some things cautionary things that nobody else talks about when everybody brags about the great harbor freight okay a lot of us uh you know when i have an air hose from harbor freight and i do not use it anymore because it broke on me uh it is this one 23 bucks once again not something i would say you're wasting your money on buying something like this because you can go out and buy things like the uh um green ones what is the green ones what can i think of it you guys know what i'm talking about the uh, you can buy better air hoses for a little bit more money and you know when you're talking about 30 dollars or 23 dollars granted i don't know why they're putting cobalt in there but they should be compared to other things but uh air compressors once again i have not noticed anything that great about them let's move down here 10 gallon ultra choir for 279 uh you know those are just pumping up these these 10 gallon ones are really kind of hard to buy i've heard some guys say some good things about air guns but let's move into some of the automotive stuff where i'm a little more well versed on stuff uh one bot battery liquid transfer comp 7.99 it's kind of a throwaway tool so i guess for that but i think the milwaukee is a way better way to go because something that you can use over and over and over again daytona 1300 pound capacity movers i've seen the wheels bend and break off of these quite a set quite a bit uh save 179 dollars over go jacks i don't have enough uh, experience with them but i have seen these daytonas break a ton uh i would not buy any scan tool none harbor freight does not offer support for their scan tools if you buy scan tools from harbor freight you are going to be sorely disappointed at some time not only that they just basically trying to sell these to people who have no idea what they're doing anyways and that's a joke and they're comparing it to the actron which is a common tool. Actually, Mac used to sell them. Act Actron is ones that usually come with an orange buttons on them, uh, if you're aware of those. The Pittsburgh Jack, uh, you know, it's pretty synonymous. They work pretty good. I've heard seat guys complain about the seals blowing out of them, but honestly, I have an O-ring kit. I fix my own jacks, guys. I buy a lot of used jacks. 
I have in the past. I haven't anymore, but I think I have three jacks right now that are USA made. One's a Lincoln. One's an old Mac that's a Shinfu. Shinfu is actually the company that manufactures most of these jacks. In fact, uh, Michael Pro is affiliated with that company out of Kansas City. And they're the ones that basically sell those Blackhawk, uh, Porto tool, Porto Power Tools. Not the same Blackhawk you're thinking of. But anyways, we have a hydraulic jack, the 10-foot canopy once again. Uh, I don't find myself being really uh, to waste my money on stuff like that. These are these like the goat. This air twenty-two ton, ton air jack could be okay, but I three hundred forty-nine dollars for four hundred four over something that's a little bit more. And not only to mention that, I go to a lot of Northern Tool guys. Uh, Centec battery charger. I can get uh, better battery chargers. I've seen them go on sale at Napa. They are not comparing these to anything. This is another telltale sign. That uh, I don't like any of the battery chargers from Harbor Freight or anything. I've had a couple of them. They're absolute junk, especially if it says Centec. Stay away from that stuff. Uh, Predator engine. We all know that's a pretty good deal, so I can't really say much about that. Drain cleaner. I definitely wouldn't. Uh, I don't know enough about that either. Predator engines. Uh, once again, not too bad. Uh, both these for $5.69. Let's see. We got hand tools. Pittsburgh double ended wrench set. <laughs> Definitely a waste of money. Compare them to Craftsman. Craftsman is twice the wrench. Spend the money on Craftsman. The good old Pittsburgh Breaker Bar. $16.99 versus $39.99. Uh, they just had a lawsuit over Pittsburgh Breaker Bar. So uh, definitely stay away from those right now. Uh, extendable Breaker Bars. I don't care if you're buying it from Gear Wrench or Quinn. They're both junk. Stay away from them. I have one from Michael Pro. Uh, and it's okay uh, because it's got a different design than these. But these are absolutely terrible. Pittsburgh quarter inch three eighths half inch drive socket set. If you're in a pinch, uh, and you're out in the middle of nowhere, yeah, that's what I mean. That's the last resort tool. Uh, these these uh well oh, these these at icon snap ring pliers. Uh, I absolutely can't stand those. Uh, you you're better off getting a set of langs. I think you can buy a five piece set of langs for like 40, 50 bucks. That's middle of the road, best place to go. Buying these, they're really shaky. I actually looked at them, was going to buy some of these uh, a couple years ago, and uh, backed out of them. You can see here the reviews on them are kind of sketchy. They're not five-star, all, all over. Tool drawer set with tool chest. Once again, if you're out in the middle of nowhere and you are desperate, that's the only time I would ever buy any of these tools. Lighting, stay away from the batteries. I've had the, I bought the batteries because... Uh, they were cheap, and I thought they were good junk, uh, decorative crap. We don't need any of that. These lights. Uh, definitely stay away from this Braun rechargeable underhood light. I have a Braun light that I bought, once again, based off of YouTubers' reviews, and it would not hold lighting on it to save its butt. Uh, let's see here. One and a half cook. Lo yeah, that's not a gun safe. It's not even big enough. I mean, a handgun safe, maybe. Uh, solar panel kits. I would definitely stay away from those. Material handing. These anti-fatigue roll mats are absolute trash. They don't have hardly any padding to them. I know that for a fact. The hardy gloves, nitrile dipped, water-resistant gloves might be all right. I do like gloves like that, but I've never tried them. But judging on the base, judging on what I've used on the hardy, uh, uh, the the hardy uh, rubber nitrile gloves, those things were junk and they ripped all the time. So uh, make some sawhorses out of two by fours instead of buying these. $13.99. Buy a couple 2x4s. You know, or buy some better ones than that. Uh, rolling stand. Rubber casters. This, this aluminum work platform. They don't show... Let's see what the weight rating is on this. Like 250 pounds. Uh, limit 2 per store. I've seen a couple of these and a couple of people buy these. 225 pounds. Ugh. Man, that's that's not a lot. Most, most guys are 6 foot tall. It's kind of sketchy. And uh, the Warner one is 59. I'll bet you the Warner one is twice the weight capacity as that one. Better built. Are you really wanting to save 24%? Come on now, man. <laughs> 60 bucks versus 45 for a better product? I mean, that just don't make no sense. All this stuff that's on coupons here, uh, that thing might... The mesh steel deck wagon might, might be good. That looks like the same one they sell at Northern. Uh, Warrior drill bits, stay away from those. Absolute trash. 
uh, Warrior Metal Butts. You're just gonna blow. Here's the thing about this: these consumable things like these, where they have no warranty on them, they're gonna you're gonna break them, break them, break them, come back, spend five bucks, five bucks, five bucks, and you could have bought a nice set in a couple times. I don't see anybody buying these for just a one-time use, and if they are for six bucks, it seems kind of a waste of money. Uh, Hercules Cobalt Steel Step Builder Set. Uh, you can buy them from Astro, actually, for pretty much a reasonable price. And the Astro ones are definitely badass. Uh, we have the Hercules saws. Once again, these uh, Hercu or Bauer Bauer saws and the Orbital jib saw. I'm sure those will be all right for somebody who's not using them as a professional. Remember, these are not professional tools here, guys. Most of the stuff on here is just, you know, uh, DIY stuff. Uh, and some of it will hold up for a while. Some of it will not. The hot knife. That'd be nice if you're doing a lot of foam cutting or whatnot. I've Once in a while, I've needed a hot knife. Uh, 20 volt Bauer cutoff 3 inch tool carbide router bit set. I don't know nothing about the carbide router bit set because I don't have a router table. Uh, 3 inch cutoff tool, $39.99. Shop and garage. Okay, fans. I can speak to this 100%. The, I've owned this fan right here, and those that base that it has on it is weak, and this is not worth $49. I know that for a sec, 100%. Uh, ultrasonic cleaner, get yourself a metal one. Do not buy this one. I know for a fact. I've had this one. My buddy used it for cleaning gun parts. Absolute junk. 1,000-pound engine support, uh, definitely don't buy this one either. Those little flaps on the side, they bend. Used them before absolutely uh, a terrible time if that thing if you got that thing on your engine support you went to save your whole 24 dollars on this the ones that have the the round ends on them i have an otc one if i'm being honest i have an otc stinger one and it is 10 times better but i've seen those flaps bend on that and you don't want an engine coming down when you're working on it they won't fall a lot of times unless it's completely empty but uh wet drag wet by wet dry act i can tell you from back in the day uh using Things like these, you will be disappointed. This is not a one-time use tool, so you're going to want to get something a little bit better. Saving 50 bucks is not a savings when that thing only lasts like six times. <clears throat> It'll last until the warranty. What's, let's see what the warranty is on this one. Uh, you know, these a lot of these things are all subjective because of warranty on this stuff. I know that I had a, a Craftsman, and it would go bad, and that would take it back to Sears. Uh, and they would replace it every time. And I didn't have a 90-day warranty. 90-day warranty. Exactly why you don't want that one. I will tell you that right now. 90-day warranty means it's absolute garbage. But if, if they can't stand behind their warranties uh, for longer than 90 days on something, I, I would re highly recommend anything that's not that's only got a 90-day warranty to stay away from it. Uh, parts gallon washer. Uh, I'm not really too keen on that. I actually... This thing, this hoist here, I think I've used this actually before, and it seems to hold up all right. I will say their their winches and stuff seem to hold up. I have a Badlands hoist, and I've had it sitting outside on my trailer forever, and it works every single time flawlessly. So I don't have as uh, much of a issue with that. Icon 73-inch roll cabinet for $29.95. You know, I still think you can find better deals out there. Uh, I, you know... People, people always look at that list price, but uh, and they're comparing it to Snap-on. But I can tell you this much right now: I know that I know a guy that can buy a Snap-on for half that price, brand new off the truck. And uh, so there, that price is kind of subjective as far as you saying saving twelve thousand dollars. That's actual BS. People that believe that stuff don't understand how the tool trucks work. I've been on the tool trucks, used the tool trucks. All those other guys haven't been on the tool trucks. They've never even bought anything off the tool trucks. That's the difference. Uh, usually your dealer will negotiate things with you, especially if you're going in to spend cash and you say you have $3,000. It's always good, good thing, good to get... Here's the thing is, it's always good to get other people's opinions about stuff when you go to buy stuff. Uh, U.S. General Series 2... 15% off. I don't know what that means. Obviously, they're 15% off. So, welding machinery. Uh, you know, uh, I, I, I think you get a Jackson helmet for about the same price. Limited time coupons. These magnetic light, towing lights are junk. My dad's bought a million of them. I try to tell him all the time. Stop spend, wasting your money. Every time he goes to use them, they work one time and then they're done. Or they didn't even make it all the way over through the trip. Triple ball hitch. Uh you know, a lot of guys need draw pitches. 
the trailer, $519. You can buy almost a complete trailer already done for that. So that's definitely. Get a free pallet of nails. And a, get a Banks nailer. Pallet nailer. So, yeah. Let's take a look at what they got new for new tools. Uh, we got a Pittsburgh Long Ram. $119. Master brake caliper set. These are all over Amazon for that price. They're not... The thing about uh, Harbor Freight 2 is now they're not gaining any space on anybody because Amazon has them. They've come out with these new jacks. Uh, I've got some of these. I've got jacks similar to this that are not Daytona. And they're just as good. Uh, $8.99. Oh, they're pads. Just the pads for the jacks. I don't know why you need those. They're just going to disintegrate anyways. The Pittsburgh Manual Tire Changer, $59. 3,000 pound. Ja uh, ramps 199 those might be okay uh we got a couple different styles of ramps 149 uh let's see here miter saw hercules 12 15 amp corded 99 i i would buy a corded circular so i would buy corded tools uh from harbor freight if i had to just for the simple fact is i know that they're 10 times better than ba than cordless uh, you're gonna, not gonna have any battery issues or whatnot, not to mention, uh, you, I would never buy a gun safe from Carver Freight. $129.99 is way too much. There's 10 times better safes out there. Uh, wire strippers, $18.99. Reciprocating saw, yeah, not a big deal. None of that. <laughs> cement mixer, I, I don't know why anybody would buy one of those unless you're doing a ton of cement mixing. That is literally uh, expen that's an expensive deal. Universal portable bandsaw bench stand. This I might actually entertain. I kind of like this. Uh, I was actually looking at a couple of these. Let's take a peek at this real quick because I've been looking at this. So when I do some, uh, and they're comparing it to the portable PBD Milwaukee, only there's another company that makes these. Uh, I like this because that way you can have a bandsaw with your corded bandsaw. Uh, this is kind of a neat deal. I'm not going to lie to you. I would actually probably entertain this. Uh, I would actually probably entertain this because, look, you can turn it into a bandsaw bench. This is actually... I'm, I'm, I'm actually digging this. I might actually get this. This would be great for fabrication and stuff. That's not terrible. Uh, I don't know who else makes those, but for 100 bucks, uh, I think I could probably add to it if I want to. Yeah, we might see this on the channel. So, I haven't looked at a Harbor Freight ad for a long time or been there. So, hey, look at that. Harbor Freight got me on board with something. If you guys are salty about stuff. Uh, the Maddox Sprayers. So, $29.99. Uh, there's a couple other companies out there to make them, but that's pretty cheap as long as they hold together. I've got the old one. I've got an old spray can that I'm from the company that originally made them. McGraw must be their new stuff for $29.99. I don't know if I'm down with that. Definitely not buying any of the tap and die sets. Let's see if they say where they're made. $129. I've seen them on the tool trucks uh, for close to that. Especially when you're talking about metric tap and dies. And if they're not lifetime warrantied, you know I'm out. They are lifetime warrantied. I'll be dipped. Huh. Interesting. Let's see if we can find out where they're made, though. They say where they're made. I have not even... I should probably be looking at more of this stuff. They're tungsten molylibdium. So that's actually good. Good and hard. Uh, definitely better. Comparable to the high-end tool truck tap and die sets. Well, they better be if they're lifetime warrantied. Yet we don't say where they're made. You know, that's the funny thing about all this uh, Harbor Freight stuff. At least a lot of the tool trucks uh, say it on their websites. L Harbor Freight doesn't have the stones. To say where they're made. In their specifications, contents, material. Nope, doesn't say manufactured. Funny. Hmm. Well, they're lifetime, they're lifetime warranty, so. Maybe something I might need to try out, but for $129, huh. Uh, Braun. We got six more pages. We're going deep into this. Uh, central mini central machinery seven horsepower pallet plate compactor uh, 799 uh, hand truck those are actually really nice if they work 129 dollars that's actually a really good deal so my dad used to have one uh, for a long time these are absolutely amazing to have around believe it or not moving refrigerators washing machines uh, the fact that it has the straps on there uh, 
and I, they didn't used to they didn't used to have these like they do now. Let's see if we can look at them. So that rubber roller is really awesome. I've I've moved enough stuff, guys. Believe it or not, uh, that uh, uh, I'm actually kind of a professional mover, if I'm being honest, because uh, I moved 15 times in my life. Why can't you just uh, look at the little guy moving boxes? But yeah, that little rubber deal down there. Uh, when you get those rubber tracks up against stairs, you can really roll them up easy. So, hmm, interesting. Like that. I'm kind of, uh, maybe I got my mind changed on a few things on Harbor Freight. And then we go right into the U.S. genitals. The U.S. genital boxes. You know what? Here's another thing I want to point out here. People talk about the, these hutches. You know, they would have made these things a lot cheaper had they not had to add two inches of steel along the bottom of them. That just tells me how flimsy they are. Basically, they took a bookcase and turned it into a hutch because this is a top locker. I mean, these things are boxes. Uh, I mean, I don't understand that at all, why they did that. Uh, no other hutch on the market is made like that but the ones from Harbor Freight. Kind of ridiculous, and that just tells me how flimsy they are. Uh, nonetheless, I'm not going to go through all this stuff because we're 20 minutes into this video, but hey, guys. I gave it my best shot. Ball peen hammers, absolutely junk. They're trying to compare these to snap on. I will tell you that they are not anywhere near to snap. And anybody can just go, it's just a hammer. Well, if you think it's just a hammer, then you don't think you're not thinking enough. I will tell you, using these using hammers like these, Trusty Cook and Snap On are the only two hammers that I like. And Trusty Cook makes they didn't compare them to Trusty Cook here because they're the same price. If I was going to buy a hammer, I'd be buying a Trusty Cook instead of a, an Icon. You are going to get a better, better hammer all around than the Icon ones. I promise you that. So anyways, guys, uh, I think that's where we're going to wrap her up. And it, Oh, God, the Icon 3HD. Anyways, guys, I know it's a different video today, but I just wanted to talk about this. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. Ring that bell! Remember... Keep your hands dirty and your money clean. Thanks for... Oh, boy. They come out... Wait a second. The Maddox fuel line disconnectors with the rubber on them. that are absolute trash. I did not see they did that. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, you want to with the Lyle ones. Absolutely. Anyways, guys, like, comment, share, subscribe. Ring that bell. Remember, keep your hands dirty and your money clean. Thanks for watching.